Leviathan here. As I've been posting anything but car videos, I thought I'll continue that same theme and continue, well, posting something completely different. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the Lyft e-foil. For those of you that don't know what an e-foil is, well, you're in for a surprise. There's not that much technology that really excites me lately, but this is just something I have to get my hands on. I did a demo a few weeks ago and ever since I've been trying very hard to find it. There's a bit of a legal consideration here in Canada, but we're not going to waste time on that right now. In fact, let's just open this up. And it comes in three different boxes. The first box is the board, the second is the mast, um, and the third is the battery. So let's start opening it up. I did buy it from someone in the US that I've never met before, so hopefully everything is intact. So this is the board. I bought the 5.0. Styrofoam, not a fan, but we do have to make sure everything is safe. So I'll just take out the board right now and I'll give you an overview. The board. The packaging is actually great and what I really love about this is you can also assemble it fully and leave it covered on the beach. There's a little hole over here. So this is where your mask will be connected. Um, and you can use this really easily while you're on the beach. Everything's really uh, sturdy and well put together. It's definitely a good case that you want to, uh, that you want to keep your equipment secure. So first up, we have a 200 wing. Great thing about this is it's very stable. Um, eventually you may want to switch up to something a bit smaller um, for a bit more agility or a high aspect for a longer battery life. The 200 surf wing is all carbon fiber. Um, then you would also attach the, uh, the stabilizer to the back. Again, the case uh, always have these uh, openings so you can make sure it's fully assembled. Here I believe we have the stabilizer wing. I'll just open that up. I'm not the best at these videos. So here we have the rear wing. It's a 40 stir. And then you have the board, this is a 5.0 in blue. You have the back, this is where the, you can add the, the mast. One thing to remember is when you open it up, you're only supposed to open it less than 90 degrees because um, you don't want to damage the hinges. Inside it comes with your uh, registration papers as well as as well as the uh, hull identification number and we'll go into the uh, internal components of it later but everything looks great next we'll do the battery um, it's a good tip to actually keep this box with you um, in case you have to transport it again um, because you actually can't travel with these and sometimes if you're going places You'll have to mail it to your selfies. Batteries have a lot of power in them, so you definitely have to be careful. Um, specifically when you're charging it, um, best practice is not to leave it unattended and not to leave it at full charge. So here we go. It's pretty well packaged. And this is your battery. Hopefully you can see this, so I'm not going to do this again. The 
third box that comes in is the mast, and I assume your controller, um, your charger, and a few other things. So let's open this up. And this is the 2020 version. A new one has just come out, the 2021. But it's a bit of a long wait time. And I definitely didn't want to wait for the season to be over um, before getting my hands on it. So I decided to go with the 2020. There's not too much difference between the 2021 and the 2020, um, other than the fact that um, a slightly different sizes and dimension when it comes to the boards. Um, and the 2021, you can interchange. Um, you have two different mass options. Again, all carbon fiber with the prop guard. You have the uh, the charger. And you have the hand controller. Within the case, you also get an instructional manual, a few stickers, your Allens um, with an extra one just in case you lose one, an extra seal. Some more screws with an extra just in case. And um, relax. To help protect your electrical components and you can pretty much put it anywhere on the board. So there you have it. That is the Lyft 5.0 with a 200 wing and a 28 inch mast. Really excited to explore different locations here in Canada and have an adventure. It is technically illegal in Canada. There's actually a $300 fine if you're caught using one of these, which when I was shipping it over from the US, it was a bit of a scary process because I wasn't sure if it would clear customs. That said, it's here and everything looks great. And I actually can't wait to explore this technology and, and spend some time on the water. So thanks for watching. Until next time.